Happy Monday, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. Have you ever taken one of those personality tests? There are a lot of different ones. Myers-Briggs, DISC, Strength Finders, the list goes on and on. And they provide ways to capture a snapshot of who we are. They, the tests describe our attributes and how those attributes then will lead us to action. I recently took a couple of these tests and they identified me as a peacemaker. So one of my attributes is valuing peace in relationships. This attribute leads me to put aside some of my own personal desires so that I can pursue peace and avoid needless arguments. But this is sometimes a challenge because I might compromise in ways that I shouldn't just for the sake of peace. God has attributes too, but unlike me, his attributes are always rightly expressed. And our psalm for today describes one of his attributes and the associated actions. Look at Psalm 11 with me. I'm going to read to you verses 4 through 7. And it says this, The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked, fire and sulfur, and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. One of God's essential attributes is holiness. He is holy. Everything about him is righteous. There is nothing evil or disordered in God. He is perfect. Another attribute that you see in this passage is that he is sovereign. This means that he is in charge. He is in control. He sits on a heavenly throne as a king over all. His holy sovereignty leads him to action. That action is testing the righteousness of people. He examines us and he judges our actions. We are promised punishment if our actions don't align with his holiness. God hates evil and sin, and those who walk in that evil will be punished. But God loves righteousness. There is a promise here for those who are righteous. They will see God. They will be rewarded with righteousness and with his presence. So this is good news if we are righteous. But the bad news is, is that we are not as holy and righteous as we need to be. We can't ever meet God's standard for righteousness. According to this psalm, that means that we stand condemned. But Jesus is righteous and holy. He is perfect and he perfectly obeyed God. At the end of Romans 5, we learned that by Jesus' obedience, the many will be made righteous. And now God's grace also might reign through righteousness leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So how do we get the righteousness that leads to seeing God's face? Well, we achieve that righteousness by trusting in Jesus. We recognize that our own unrighteousness will never get us where we need to be and that we need to trust in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross to make us righteous. While God in holiness can condemn us, he demonstrates another of his attributes, mercy. So in his mercy, he gives Jesus righteousness to us. Through faith in Jesus, we will avoid the judgment that we deserve and receive a reward for righteousness. I hope today's word for the day has inspired you to worship your holy, sovereign, and merciful God. And I also hope that you're placing all of your trust in Jesus today. Have a joyful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.